Microsoft Outlook setting up polls prior to a Teams meeting. When you go into Outlook, first of all, make sure you are in the calendar view. Select the time you want to set up the meeting for, and then click on New Teams Meeting. Once this is loaded, enter in the details of the meeting, giving it a title and add in the people involved. Once you've done this, you can then press the send. Once the meeting request has been sent, go back into the meeting. And then click on join the meeting. Join now. And this will open up the Teams meeting. Doesn't matter when you do this, as long as you've set up the meeting. You'll see at the top there's three dots. Click on this and then go to Add. You can then type in Forms. Click on Forms and click Add. Once this is loaded, click Save. This will add a poll to your meeting. You can then click Create New, or you can choose one of the pre-selected polls that Microsoft has generated. You'll be given three different choices, multiple choice, quiz, or a word cloud. Let's go with the multiple choice. Here you can add a question and then add in your options. You can also make this multi-answer, which allows users to select two or more answers and you can make it anonymous or collect data around who has selected what. Click on save and the poll will now appear down the side. This time we're going to create a quiz. A quiz allows you to put in a correct answer. So let's put in a question again and several options. This time you'll see that there's a tick option for you to select the correct one. Again, you can select whether it's anonymous or you collect user data. The final option, which is the word cloud, allows users to type in their own answer. Again, you can put in a question, and this time when the poll is launched, the participants can write what they'd like. You'll see here now I've got three different polls set up. I can go back in and edit or delete them if I'd like, but I'm just going to leave this meeting now. Okay, it's a bit later in the afternoon. I'm going back in to my meeting. Again, I'm going to click here to attend the meeting. And I'll see now that along the top, as well as the people, participants, chat, reactions and breakout rooms, I've got this final option, which is polls. And here I can see the three polls that I set up earlier. During the meeting, when I click launch, this poll will pop up on the participants' screens. And then they will be able to just click and select the answer and click Save. I will then be able to see their responses here. I also have some options so I can close the poll, I can show the results and I can export. 
When I click export, this will download the file as an Excel file. If I open it up, you'll see that because this poll was set to anonymous, it just tells me the answer but doesn't tell me who gave the answer. If I go back into this second poll, and this time go edit rather than launch, I'm going to change the settings to indicate that I want to know who gave what response. So I'm ticking this box and then I'm going to save it. Once that's saved, if I press launch now, and then click on the answer that I need to give, this will be saved with the data around who I am, so who submitted that quiz. You can see it tells me I'm correct. And now, as the organiser, I can go in and export. Note that if you're not the organiser, you won't be able to export this data, so participants won't be able to see what other people have selected. Here I've got my name and my email address. If I leave the meeting, I can still access that data from those polls. In Teams, I just need to open up the chat for that meeting. And then I can see the polls that are there. This one's still open, so it hasn't been closed. And I can see the responses here. Everyone will be able to see those responses, but only me as the organiser will be able to get those details about who responded to what.